are mean, they are green, they are advancing. As for Purdue, they end their season losing back-to-back -back games. Knocked out first round of the Big Ten tournament by Ohio State. Knocked out first round NCAA tournament by North Texas. Purdue just three for 14 in overtime, just eight points. This is the second Big Ten upset of the day. Number two seed Ohio State, bye. Number four seed Purdue, bye. North Texas getting seven and a half, didn't need it. They win the money line plus 240. And we go over the 124 and a half because of overtime. Love when that happens. There you go. Look at the mean green. I know I keep saying mean green, but I just love the nickname. And I love the fact that the shirts don't say North Texas. It says mean green. They'll look to be the seventh 13 seed to go to the Sweet 16. And why not us? Why not now? You take a shot if you're those folks, because a lot of people think that maybe, maybe they're going to be the team that plays in the second weekend as a Sweet 16 representative. Matt Norlander jumping back aboard, CBS Sports senior college basketball writer. All right, who are these guys? I mean, okay, we sort of look at all these teams, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16, you go, okay, maybe them. Oh, they got a good schedule. There. But it felt like they just slugged it out like this wasn't luck. And even when they got to overtime, they dominated in overtime when Purdue maybe is the better team you thought would, you know, sort of take a deep breath and say, okay, we're fine now. Yeah, Purdue missed his first nine shots in the bonus session, Eric. That was frankly unexpected and bizarre because Jade Niden and Travion Williams for Purdue on the whole had relatively good games. And Purdue, well, uh, most of this is going to be dedicated to North Texas. Let me be clear here. Purdue, if it returns everyone next season, just to look ahead, like that might be a top 10 team in college basketball next season if everyone does return there. So this is a fairly surprising loss here for Purdue, which, uh, which made it interesting down the stretch. I mean, how do we not love JV on Hamlet? How do we not love JV on Hamlet's father rocking a mean green sweater with the son's like image on the shirt and all, this, all of his accomplishments? This is one of many reasons why this tournament's incredible, not just because of the upsets, not because of the upsets we don't see coming. I didn't see hardly any buzz about North Texas over Purdue heading into this field, but it's just this stuff. Like the dad in the stands, he's got the iPad at the ready once the upset is in the bag. Love, love, love that stuff. North Texas. Tough team, Javion Hamlet out of the Memphis area. We've actually talked about him on the Ion College Basketball podcast recently because my co-host Gary Parrish, of course, is from Memphis, so he is all too familiar with Javion Hamlet, who was a bit under-recruited out of high school. He has been an absolute stud. Not low on confidence and as tough pound for pound as maybe any team, any player in this tournament. Uh, wonderful, wonderful story here. And if I just real quick, if I can just provide an anecdote, you know, before the season started, when all of this tumult was happening with scheduling non-conference, teams were losing games, trying to keep games, losing them left and right. I remember talking to North Texas coach Grant McCaslin. This must have been like late October. It was about 10.30 at night on a Saturday or something, and he had lost basically his entire non-conference schedule I, completely out of his control. Is that like a drive-in, going to a McDonald's with his kids? They're screaming, Dad, can we get ice cream, et cetera, et cetera. Meantime, he's just trying to figure out what games he's going to be able to play in the non-conference or if he's going to have any games, period. And just thinking back to that conversation I had with him in that moment with his kids, uh, a late October, not knowing who we would play, to flash forward getting the first win in school history with a stud in Hamlet and a wonderful, tough, truly tough, impressive team win. North Texas is a wonderful story, and it's going to be great for CUSA to have a representative going into the weekend. That's Matt Norlander, and it's not just North Texas, the state of Texas. The eyes of Texas are upon you because they're not losing to anybody. They start off. Win, 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 win. You get a win, you get a win, you get a win, you get a win, you get a win. Doesn't matter if you're a one seed, a two seed, a six seed. You just keep doing it. Even their 16th seed one. All right, they beat another 16th seed, but you get the point. Texas so far, 5-0. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.